Tyler Budge. I'm originally from Utah and I live here in Tacoma, Washington. I am a sculptor. I work in mixed media. I kind of have a philosophy as of late that I'm less interested in objects and more interested in telling stories. Um, so I create installations that tell my life story. Uh, most of my work is autobiographical. So this current project that I'm working on now um, is all about the perpetuation of the masculine myth in male children. Uh, we grow up and are given toys like hobby horses to ride. And um, we all want to be cowboys and firemen and things like that. Luke, go down with that lead team. Reese, I'm going to let you whip them up. Um, so I'm exploring a lot of different little boy toys right now in my work. But I've, I've been destroying them in my work as well. Um, so my model train sets are creaming off cliffs and... So I've always been interested in glass as a medium. Um, because glass, the transparency of it becomes a window. Uh, so you get to see through that window into another world. I'm now integrating bubbles into things because bubbles is kind of an agender sort of object. Um, and it's a precarious object, something that's about to pop. Being here though, I kind of want to change the direction of where I've been going and having all of the uh, toys breaking and falling apart and turning that fragile moment of when it's just about to pop um, to become a really beautiful thing and stop in the beauty of the precarious moment. Here though at the museum I want to explore glass as a beautiful object. So instead of thinking of it as the moment of destruction, trying to find the beauty in the object um, and letting the fragility of hopes and desires and dreams become a beautiful moment rather than a scary one. Hoping to recreate soap bubbles, um, much like the soap bubbles you'd do as a child blowing through the bubble wands. Ultimately, the piece is going to end up as an installation, so hanging several different bubbles of different shapes that contain different fragments of horses. Um, once we've determined how big bubbles we can be blowing, I'll go back to the studio and create a giant bubble wand out of fiberglass or wood. I think what I'm trying to do here is a little untraditional. Um, so I'm really hoping this will just be exploratory and see what develops. Um, I've got a bunch of different ideas that we can play with, some that lean toward the more traditional vessel type object. Um, I don't know, here to play.